Here the other question goes like this. That is in the question they have not mentioned which curve we need to take. But in the question they have mentioned that we need to find the least square quadratic curve for the following data. When we see the word quadratic, keyword quadratic, you need to be remembering that the equation is for quadratic, the stranger formula for quadratic equation is of the form ax square plus bx plus c. You cannot take it as a plus bx plus cx square. Okay. Yeah. So here again the procedure remains the same. They are given the set of values for x and y. See here the number of observations are counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So we can write number of observations n is equal to 8 here. So given quadratic curve and again we have three set of equations for this curve. So for that we have certain parameters so we need to, we need to find that we need to put it in the tabular column. Yeah, see we need to find summation of x, y, x square, x cube, x power 4, x y, x square y. Okay. Again the same thing, uh, put the values of x and y, take its summation, respectively we got 31 and here 67, x square, x cube, x power 4, x y, x square y, we got the values for x square, as summation of x square we got it as 179, summation of x cube is 1171, summation of x power 4 is 8147, summation of x into y we got it as 226, summation of x square into y we got it as 1299 so again the same thing we need to take the above equations we have three set of equations substitute that we get again three equations and after that name that equation 1 2 and 3 similarly in the calculator press the mod setup it asks for equation press number 5 after that since we have four parameters here a b c we need to press the second number number 2 after that put all the values of coefficient that is first we need to take this value okay not this this corresponds to D, okay, in the calculator. This is our A, B, and C, okay. Uh, so the first value put it as 179, then 31, then 8, 67. Again, then the, it goes in the next line. Put the value 1171, 179, 31, 226. Then again, it goes in the next line. Put the first value 8147, 1171, 179, 1299. Press the equal to sign. After that, they will be giving the values for x, y, z in the calculator. But here we need to write the values as a, b, and c. Since our parameters here are a, b, c. Okay. So here again we got the values for a, b, and c. That is 0.2674 minus 2.7393 and 13.0066. So again, write the required quadratic curve. Substitute the values for a, b, and c. But in the question, they have also mentioned that. We need to substitute the value of y such a way that by putting the value of x as 6.5. See in the question it's mentioned here, estimate y at x equal to 6.5. So whatever we got the answer here, right? So in this x square x we term is there, right? In that we need to substitute the value of x here as 6.5. That's it. Okay. So while we substitute and solve it, we get our answer as 6.4988. Also, we can write it approximately. We can keep it as it is. Also, we can approximate, take the approximation and write it as it is equal to 6.5. So, when x equal to 6.5, we get again the value of y as 6.5 in the above equation. Okay. Yeah. So, this goes the next question. That is, for the following data, we need to find the correlation coefficient between x and y. So in order to find that again, then first write the number of observations. So in these kind of problems, first thing we need to notice the number of observations. Okay. Yeah, so here it observations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So write it as 6. So here I have used the second formula. Okay. So in this second formula, what and all are the parameters required? Check it. We have summation of x, y, summation x, summation y, summation of x square, summation of x the whole square. That is again summation x summation of y square and again summation of y the whole square. So whatever the parameters are there, write it in the tabular column and take its summation at last. So the first thing is write x, y, write the values, write x square, y square and take its summation. The same thing goes with x, y. Okay. Yeah. So now take write x, y. So here we in the formula we need summation x, summation y, right? See. So take its summation that is 6, 5, 8, 8, 7, 6. Summation would give you 40. 8, 7, 7, 10, 5, 8, summation would give you 45, okay, and summation of x square that is 
सिक्स स्क्वायर थर्टी सिक्स फाइव स्क्वायर ट्वेंटी फाइव एट स्क्वायर सिक्सटी फोर सेवन स्क्वायर फोर्टी नाइन सिक्स स्क्वायर इज अगेन थर्टी सिक्स वेन यू टेक द समीशन वी गेट इट एज टू सेवेंटी फोर सिमिलरली गोज फॉर वाई स्क्वायर वी गॉट इट एज थ्री फिफ्टी वन एंड एक्स इन टू वाई ओके एक्स इन टू वाई वुड गिव यू थ्री नॉट टू सो अगेन द सेम थिंग वट एवर वी हैव गॉट पुट इज इन द फॉर्मुला द सेकेंड फॉर्मुला इज एन द स्मॉल लेटर आर दैट इज द कोरिलेशन कोफिशेंट इज डिनोटेड बाई स्मॉल लेटर आर राइट That is given by n into summation x y minus summation x summation y divided by square root of n into summation x square minus summation x the whole square into n into summation y square minus summation of y the whole square. So substitute that. The value of n here is six into summation of x y we got it as three not two minus summation x is forty summation y is forty five forty into forty five divided by square root of n is six. Summation x square 274 minus summation x the whole square that is 40 square into the other step that is n6 summation y whole uh, summation y square is uh, 351 minus summation y the whole square that is 45 whole square. So now simplify this. So finally after simplification we get the value of uh, co coefficient correlation coefficient as 0.2010. Okay. Yeah. So this was your question. find two regression lines for the following data okay where the data is given for x and y here the here are the given observations so here the number of observations again are 1 2 3 4 5 6 right write it as 6 here so now in order to find the regression lines the parameters we need to be remembering is x y x square y square and xy okay these are the three five parameters for that we need to put the tabular column For all these regression line uh, sums, these are the general parameters. Okay, yeah. And also we have x bar and y bar because in the equation of uh, regression lines we have these terms x bar and y bar, right? Yeah. Though that also we need to find it and keep. Okay, yeah. So now uh, write the ta uh, tabular column. Write the values of x, y. Uh, substitute. Uh, may take its summation since summation of x is required to calculate x bar, right? And also summation of y is required to calculate y bar, right? Yeah. So we we need to take the summation of x and y also in this case. So x square that is uh, take the square of all each x terms and sum it up. So here the summation of x first we get it as 21. Here we get it as 79. Summation of x square we got it here as 91. Summation of y square we got it here as 1057. And summation of x into y we got it as 272. So now calculate x bar and y bar. The formula for x bar is summation x by n. The summation x is given as 21. So 21 by number of observations is six. So 21 by six is equal to six uh, 3.5. And summation of y similarly summation of y is given as 79 divided by the number of observations is six. So 79 by six would be 13.167. Okay. We got here x bar and y bar. So now we need to find the equation of regression lines. That is. They have they have given to find two regression lines there. So we have uh, only two regression lines in general also. That is, one is for y on x and x on y. Okay. So for first to find equation of regression y on x, this is our general formula. That is, y minus y bar is equal to b suffix y x into x minus x bar. So first we need to find b y x. Okay. So in order to find b y x, this is the formula. Uh, when if we compare to correlation coefficient, the numerator remains the same, and in the denominator, the square root get cancelled, and only the x terms would be there. Only the x terms would be there in order to calculate the equation of equation y on x. And similarly for x on y, and the denominator term, numerator remains the same, and the denominator square root goes, and the only the y terms would be there. Okay. So now write the formula. This is the formula here. Summation x y is given as 272. Substitute it. Summation x, summation y is given as 21 and 79 divided by n into summation x square that is 91. So 6 into 91 minus uh, summation x the whole square that is 21 square. So after solving this, we get it as b y x b suffix y x we get it as minus 0.257. So whatever we got it, put it in this equation. So now our equation will be looking like uh, write this y as it is. Since our goal is to get the uh, equation of regression y on x, that right? So that is given as y is equal to 
a x plus b right this is our general equation of equation y on x right so we are here a y and x we need to keep it as it is in this equation okay yeah so y minus y bar what we have got y bar 13.167 right substitute that 13.167 is equal to b by x we got it as minus 0.257 into x minus x bar is 3.5 so now here in generally we have y in one side right so bring the y in one side rest all the terms in one side that is uh, bring this y to one side so this would be y equal to so this minus 13.1367 if you bring it to the other side it would be positive so it would be 13.167 minus multiply 0.257 into x first plus so minus into minus is plus so 0.257 into 3.5 would give you 0.8995 so now again simplify this 13.167 plus 0.8995 would give you 14.0665 minus this term that is 0.257x so this is your equation of regression y on x similarly find it for x on y so here the formula is x minus x bar equal to bxy into y minus y bar find the b suffix xy by putting the formula we get it as minus 0.267 now and again put uh, this bxy in this formula that is x minus x bar is 3.5 uh, bxy is minus 0.267 into y minus y bar is 13.167 and bring x to one side since the general is formula is given as x equal to ay plus b right for the equation of regression x on y so yeah bring one x to one side and rest all the terms to other side so this minus 3.5 when it goes to other side it will be it would be plus 3.5 and now while solving this we get our equation of regression x on y so here we got the two regression lines that is y equal to ax plus b and x equal to ay plus b okay so this is the way we need to solve this problem.